I like bleach. I've always liked bleach. I don't like all the filler in bleach, but I think it's a good anime. I think, I think it's worth watching, and I think a lot of people who had seen it basically made it to the part where Ichigo went, you know, and to go save Rukia's bitch ass, and after he did that shit, then there was a bunch of filler, and then most people quit right after that. Or right, right when the Espada started, a lot of people quit, because there's a shit ton of filler in that. And uh, there's actually a lot of websites that will tell you um, what e episodes to watch. Bleach, no filler, God. So here's a list right here for the manga and for the episodes. So it'll show you which ones are the thing and then you could just watch the episode list here. That's It'll tell you what's canon and it'll show you what's filler. So I'll just link this, animefillerlist.com. That's all it is. It's fucking, it's so fucking useful. And believe you, you see there's this whole big ass section right here after episode 63, Rukia's resolution, Ichigo's feelings, right? Like just what I said. Then there's all that filler. So a lot of people quit right after he saves Rukia. And then this is Visor's whatever, Ospada series. Filler right here, a lot of people quit in here. Waco Mundo, filler. Waco Mundo, filler, right? Waco Mundo, filler, filler, filler. And then at near the end, a fuck ton of filler. Just like a whole filler season over and over and over again. Even near the end, like the last 20 episodes, you have filler all throughout here. Um, but still, it's a great fucking thing to watch. And I've met a lot of people who actually don't mind filler episodes, and that's kind of why they get into that shit. But any who's in, let's get into it. Why? See my comment section going like... Hey Mo, when's your next anime a minute? Hey Mo, what are the anime minutes? Hey Mo, I'm gonna eat that juicy ass of yours. You want the anime minutes? I'm sorry, what? I got you. That's about all I know. Whoa! Uh, he gotta be watching Hunter. He sounds just like like a knockoff hunter when he does it. A purposeless Oh, y'all notice how the light stuff is fixed in the back? I finally put up blinds back there, so now the light is like balanced, so I don't need to put up two lights in here anymore. Ichigo was just chilling, thinking about hentai, and that's when he meets Rukia, who randomly sneaks into his room. That's For when real? Ichigo is like, please don't rape me. But we all know Rukia wasn't about that, and explains Bad that she's just drawings. Over, and that Ichigo is no regular human because he can see her in spirits. Just then, a hollow attacks, taking Ichigo's sister Karin. Rukia is then all like, I got this, and saves but Karin she shortly after. The hollow goes for she Ichigo, doesn't got but this. then Rukia uses her secret technique, the human shield, defending right. Ichigo from the hollows. For trash. She's supposed to be hundreds of years old, and Rukia is trash. Now that Rukia's health has depleted near to zero, she then says, Yo, if you want to live, you gotta take my soul reaper powers. And Ichigo replies with, Say no more. Accepting the powers. He I does take that Strawberry shit. Strawberry Kurosaki. You have purpose in this anime. And so, he goes for the SLASH! Shoot! Yeah. Taking out that hollow <laughs> Moving yeah. forward, two soul reapers from the soul society. Renji and B Renji goes hard, Biakia right? If Byakuya goes hard, yeah, he's like the, you know, emotionally detached motherfucker. Oh, like, hey, Rukia, you have pulled one of the biggest taboos a soul reaper can ever make. And that is transferring your powers over to a human. So for that, you're gonna die. And so they but like, not to really, though. Up. But soon after, the main character, of course, comes to the rescue. But ends up getting his ass beat. In Cause he a bitch. Ooh. Ooh. And it's also one of those tropes that I fucking hate in anime and that I'll let the video play out for a while. Where like the main character is like cool as hell, like relatable or whatever. But like his sword don't do shit and everybody else's sword does shit. You know, like when you watch Dragon Ball Z, like Goku has all the fucking cool ass powers. You know what I mean? And but like this one in anime where like he doesn't have any fucking cool powers and he gets his ass beat a lot. Afterwards, Rukia, Renji, and Byakuya head to the Soul Society to perform a proper execution on Rukia, leaving Ichigo in critical condition. By the way, Rukia was the one who technically saved Ichigo by accepting her fate and suggesting that they leave the main character behind to bleed out and die. Ha! And they really think the main character can die by simply Moving forward, Ichigo gets Nurse Joy ah. by Kisuke Udahara. And that's when Udahara is like, want to enter this soul society? I got you if you come to my basement, big boy. For so real, though. this operation to rescue Rukia, that's real. Ichigo is joined by Brock, Misty, and Matt. Okay, I need to stop with these goddamn Pokemon <laughs> references. So for this operation, Why? Ichigo is joined by his Why? friends, Orihime, Uriyu, and Chad, who also possess some type of supernatural power. Orihime has Shinshin Rika, Chad has Burasu Derecha de Gigante, and Uriyu has Quincy powers, which is basically a nice variant to what Wind Archers have in Maple Story. So given the portal by yeah. Uyahara, all four, <laughs> I mean five, including this cat. Bro, go hard. Say more. 
I fucking didn't spoil that for Skidden, and she was so surprised. She was actually so fucking surprised. Well, that gotta hurt. While moving through the Soul Society, they end up bumping into this bitch, who gives them transportation, or I mean a cannon, to shoot them into the Seratang. Hashtag one of the first, well, it's not a good hashtag. I take that back, not hashtag. But she has one arm, doing work. And it Soul Reapers live. And most importantly, where Rukia is located. As they enter the Sirite, they all end up getting oh, spread into pairs. Don't so you talk about a man like that? Rid of the intruders, Ichigo encounters a Soul Reaper named Ikaku. And... They get into it. Easy. As a result for the victory, Ichigo manages to extract the information on the location where Rukia is being executed. And so he heads out, but as he's making his way towards Rukia, he is intercepted by Renji and had no other choice but to fight. And, and as then he result, levels up. Level up, baby. Turn up. Easy. So this is when Renji explains his backstory with Rukia. Basically, going Filler. like, Rukia is my childhood friend. It's all my fault Rukia is getting executed. And after concluding his story about Rukia and him back in the good old days, he then requests that Ichigo goes ahead to save Rukia. And so, once again, Ichigo heads towards the direction where Rukia is being held. Makes a as, mistake. As expected, another Soul Reaper cuts him off, and so this Soul Reaper is named Kenpachi, who's hungry for a good fight. The fight concludes with a stalemate, with both Ichigo and Kenpachi laying in critical condition. But no worries, the main character manages to survive. Wow. <laughs> Thanks to this cat. Yeah. Yeah. Titties out, fat ass. Yeah, well, by the way, this cat girl's name is Yoriichi. And with Come that out of the way, Yoriichi brings Ichigo to special training so training to obtain his Bankai. Basically, the level 3 powers of his Zanpakuto, or in other words, his sword. After several episodes of getting an ass beating, guess who unlocks Bankai? Junkimi Wakimi Takeshita! So with Ichigo <laughs> having a mastery with Bankai, he's then like, it's time to rescue Rukia. So just as Rukia is about to get executed, Ichigo comes in clutch and sets Rukia free. He yeah. then tosses Rukia to Renji so Rukia can get the hell out of there while he takes and care that's... of the other Soul Reapers. But yeah. that's when Byakuya comes in like, oh no you don't. So with Great no other choice, sequence. Ichigo releases his... Work. Easily one of the best fights in the fucking series, yo. And he ends up winning the fight by destroying Byakuya's Zanpak Toe. This is when Byakuya is like, The only reason why I allowed Rukia, my sister-in-law, to be executed is because I come from a noble family who honors the law and must set an example for other Soul Reapers. But since you have defeated me, bye-bye! So with that, Byakuya has deserted his task to pursue Rukia. And so Rukia is pretty much off the hook at this point. But wait! Yeah. Did you really think it was you all gonna end here? Think again! Because this is when three <laughs> Soul Reapers, Aizen, Gin, and Kaname, arrive at Rukia and Renji's location. Aizen then gets his hand and shoves that shit through Rukia's chest, taking the Hogyoku that Urahara had implanted and hid inside of her. This item is able to transfer Soul Reaper powers to Hollows and vice versa. Shortly after, Aizen, Gin, and Kaname flee the Soul Society to Waco Mundo, a dimension that resides between the world of the living and the Soul Society, and is also the habitat for Hollows. And by the way, they might be future villains later on, wink wink. So after that incident, the Soul Reapers no longer view Ichigo Uduyu, Chad, or or he may as threats. And by the way, Skitten was so upset when she figured out that Aizen was a, a bad guy. Like, since she saw him, she's like, I knew it was gonna be evil, blah, blah, blah. But then when he actually became evil, she was fucked up about it. For and a also, minute. Orihime, For Chad, a and minute. You did have their own fights. But really, if it didn't include the true main character, does it really matter? And so, they return to the world of the living. That was fun. Those were fun fights. Watch that shit. But right before doing so, Ichigo is gifted a substitute Soul Reaper badge. Basically, a badge allowing Ichigo to go into Soul Reaper mode without using Soul Candy, like he always has been doing. And so, moving forward, we got oh my god a filler arc so moving past yeah. that atrocious filler arc ichigo meets shinji who it was advisor. bad and, and if long. you don't know what advisor it is too bad just kidding. So basically, a is a Reaper who has acquired hollow powers. And by the way, Ichigo has shown hints of having this type of power, but it really wasn't relevant till now. So with Ichigo technically being qualified as advisor, Shinji is like, hey man, you should leave the Soul Reapers and join my squad. But Ichigo basically declines. Moving forward to a wrong car arriving in Katakuta Town, Ukiora and Yami. And what is an Iran car, you ask? Well, to answer your question, it's a hollow that has removed its mask and obtained powers hey. similar to that of a Soul Reaper. Appreciate oh, I it. really wonder who's responsible for this. This is one Chad and Orihime pull up after sensing their spiritual levels over nine. Oh, hell no. Nah. You ain't gonna finish that dead ass meme. Well, after Orihime and Chad sense the Arankara's spiritual pressure, they rush to the location and engage in battle. And it looks Bow. like Chad takes a fat L. Just as Bow. Orihime is about to get striked, you already know the main character is gonna appear. Save that hoe. <laughs> Cut that nigga arm off, by the way. Oh, then they fighting. Yeah. Oh, oh, Kinda. God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. 
It's a really long sequence. Ichigo basically gets tortured, and Skitten didn't even want to watch it. This was a bit unexpected. So For real. So Uehara and Yorichi arrived at the scene, and pretty much scares the two of Ronkar off. Or maybe not scare them off, because Ukiyora says they were sent by Aizen to gauge Ichigo's strength. And since Ichigo was seen as trash to them, there was no use staying around. With Ichigo feeling I'm like out. a weak piece of shit, he goes to meet up with the visor, asking if they can teach him how to control his holification. And they beat his ass too. And they're like, all you gotta do is join! And with Ichigo being Ichigo, he's like, nah, I'm just here to use you guys. And so a fight breaks out, leading Ichigo to release his untamed holification and choking this bitch out. But soon after, the visor restrains Ichigo and stops his rampage. After seeing Ichigo's holification potential, they then decide to help Ichigo get a grip of his power. Moving forward, Ukiyora was ordered by Aizen to capture Orihime because he had an interest in her powers. And then it got like a weird dom-sub relationship that goes on for a long ass time. So fucking awkward. Also threatening her so friends' awkward. lives if she didn't comply. Ukiyora then gives Orihime a 12 hour period before bringing her to Wikimundo, allowing her to say goodbye to one person. She is then instructed to wear this bracelet, which makes her invisible to everyone but the Arankar. And so she says goodbye to Ichigo before being taken prisoner by Aizen. Moving forward, the Soul Reapers inform Ichigo about Orihime and concludes that she has sided with the Arankar. Ichigo did not accept that, and so he gathers with Uryu and Chad and heads to Wikimundo through the garganta that Urahara has opened for them. Don't call my dad, you can't, you can't. On their arrival, they go spot a hard. Good natured Kind of. Now, Peshe and Dolby no! Chaka. Shortly after, Rukia and Renji appear. Using the Arankar's warm looking pet, Bawa Bawa, they travel to Lost Noches, where Orihime is being held. Now that they have arrived in Lost Noches, they had no other choice but to go up against the Arankar and lead forces, known as the Espada. But of course, they breeze through these fights no problem because, after all, they all got that main character invincibility cloak equipped. He gets fucked up a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Oh, never mind. Moving forward, the Espada Grimjow sneaks Orihime out of her prison to heal Ichigo. Or maybe not heal, more like bring back from the dead, using her power to reject reality, and basically rewind time before a certain event occurred. But the reason why Grimjow did this is to get a proper death match with Ichigo. Because the last time they faced each other, he was he forced to retreat before up. finishing their fight's episodes back. What's funny is that I forgot to include this detail, so I'm including it now. <laughs> and so Ichigo and not that important. his qualification and beats that ass easy money. And... Another whole ass arc. I heard you the first time. For fuck's sake. And it's so long. Holy fuck. I think they start by going like to like a because gypsy fucking so shit. I don't much. know. I will skip them for the sake of this anime a minute. Thank me later and I will kiss you on the cheek. Shortly after defeating Grimjow, the eh. Arankar appear. Neutra and Tesra. And they end up picking a fight with Ichigo. And so with Ichigo being at a weakened state, he takes a fat L. Nani, Again. where did Kampachi come from? Nani, Kampachi takes out Neutra? Nani, Orihime gets captured by an Arankar again? None. All right, I need to stop. <laughs> well, moving forward, with many Soul Reapers besides Kampachi pulling up to Wake Mundo, Aizen uses Bakugo number 77 to contact them, basically using Bakugo number 77 as a fucking speaker to tell them that he lured them here, closing off the Gargantas that they enter here through, and essentially trapping the Soul Reapers in Wake Mundo. With that being said, Aizen leaves Wake Mundo with Gin and Kaname to Katakuta Town to create the Oaken, a key to the Soul King Palace, which requires a hundred thousand souls to create. And basically, Aizen's plan is to fight the Soul King to overthrow him and take his throne. But I have heard that Aizen just wanted to have a good fight, but I mean, yeah. I nah. Internet, but, hey, nah, I don't think so, bro. He was fucking. This man thought he was a god, bro. But little did Aizen know, Udohara has set up a plan to replace the real Katakuta Town with the replica and to post the 13 Court Guard Squad captains in the fake Katakuta Town. But Got as soon you, as Aizen bitch. arrives, he already knew what's up. He was like, yeah, th this shit is all fake. And so Aizen summons his Arankar troops, and soon after the visor arrives, siding with the Soul Reapers with the intention to take down Aizen. I hate this one. I do not like this one. I fuck. I fuck with Yo, the skirts so though. Want to twerk. Moving forward, Ukiyora is with. What? What are you planning what? to finish her off? Because Aizen no longer has a purpose for her. But of course, the main character arrives at the scene once again. And so Ukiyora and Ichigo have a spicy fight. Even uh, breaking the boundaries of this goddamn dimension. Meanwhile, the 13 Court Guard squad uh, captured by a lot of the fight. And uh, oh, for crying out uh, loud, another filler arc? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm getting tired of covering these filler openings. Bro, and this one was so fucking long. I hated it. It's time to get Change. Nabika nai naga sare nai yo imaka anjiru koto ni shita yu de Well, moving forward. So like the only thing I hate more, like the only the types of filler I hate, the number one is Groundhog Day fillers. We had to repeat the same day over and over and over again till you learn like a lesson or some shit. 
awful. I think it's fucking terrible. And the second one I hate the most is when your friends then become your enemies because of random mind control or some shit. I hate that shit. It's fucking boring. Ichigo is still in that juicy fight with Ukiora, pushing him to enter his full hollow form after being killed. Yeah, you heard me right. But with this form, Ichigo spreads Ukiora's cheeks like bread <laughs> and drills. Killing that bitch. But it looks like Ichigo goes down alongside with him. Fucking hacks! I'm back! Ichigo heads down to do cleanup duty and attempts to take out the Arankar Yami. But in the midst of battle, Byakuya stops Ichigo, telling him that he must return to the world of the living using the Garganta Mayuri created. And so after a bit of conflict, he goes through the Garganta with Letsu Unahana. While traveling through the Garganta, Unahana tells Ichigo he is the only one who can possibly defeat Aizen because he is the main character. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's because Ichigo hasn't been exposed to Aizen's Zanpakuto ability. Kondo they fucking ruined that shit like immediately. This whole thing was fucking pointless. Simon, or complete hypnosis, which is initiated through looking at the release of Aizen's Zanpakuto. This ability's influence is pretty much permanent and has the ability to hypnotize and manipulate all five senses. Unahana warns Ichigo Bust to it. never look at Aizen's Shikai, or in other words, Aizen's Zanpakuto release. Moving forward, the Arankar get wiped out, Aizen's henchman Kaname gets killed, and Ichigo Rip. arrives in false Katakuta town and goes to strike Aizen right off the bat. But it doesn't seem to be working out so so well, and so the visor and soul reapers mm -mm. help out the boy Ichigo and ends up getting annihilated. Right. Shizu Kani! Shizu Kani! With Ichigo being the final man standing, he goes up against Aizen once again. And this is when Aizen is like, check out my nipples, or oh, I mean, my Hogu I fused with. Which essentially gives Aizen fucking god mode. Aizen then continues spouting out Busted. some bullshit, saying that he has forged Ichigo's path all the way till now since the day he was born. This is when Daddy Kurosaki swoops in, and apparently he's a soul reaper. Shortly after, Gin arrives at the scene and takes on Ichigo while Ichigo's father Ishin takes on Aizen. As Ishin is fighting Aizen, Urahara and Yoriichi arrive to assist him in this battle. With Aizen being an OP-ass motherfucker, he then follows through and drills their cheeks. Wait. Bro, she had like that this fucking dope-ass like fighting kit on though. It was sick. Shortly after those it was ruins, good. Aizen then leaves with Gin to head to the real Katakuta town to forge the Oaken. And they do the f fucking bad guy thing. Of course, they don't finish off people for some random-ass yeah, reason. Ichigo, Ishin, Urahara, and Yoriichi alive. Moving right. forward, Ichigo's father uh, yeah, gives exactly. Ichigo one of those powerful Naruto speeches, Whoa. saying even though they are too weak to <laughs> defeat Aizen, they can't just stand around doing nothing God damn. because everyone in Katakuta Town will inevitably be slaughtered. And so Ishin opens the Senkai Mode, enabling them to travel to the real Katakuta Town. And As then he's like, hold on, wait, we gotta do some shit. Through the Senkai Mode. Ishin notices the cleaner is no longer there in the Dangai. Essentially, the cleaner is there to kill anyone or anything from staying too long. And the cleaner is pretty much as durable as Diamond, but since Aizen got those OP hacks on, he destroyed that shit pretty easily on his way to Katakuta. Well, they're talking about he's on like a different level type shit. He's like, you know, literally on god mode like he said before. Like, he's leveled the fuck up. With that said, Ishin decides to take advantage of the time distortion in the Dangai to teach Ichigo the final Getsu Gatensho. And for those people who don't know the time distortion in the Dangai, I'm gonna tell you. Well, just look at it like this. One year outside the Dongai will equate to 2,000 years in here. So it's a hyperbolic time chamber on crack, basically. And also, his dad was literally about to run his son in there with no fucking plan. Like, they was just gonna fucking die. He was like, yeah, let's just get in here. You're not gonna learn this but shit, let's just go. He kinda got a lot of fucking time on his hand. So moving forward a couple of episodes, Gin ends up turning on Aizen, because apparently Fail. he and Rangiku were childhood friends. And Aizen ended what up- What are you talking about? They was loving. Back, making him plot his revenge the day he affiliated himself with Aizen. But, Things don't go as planned. It's really after the death he of Gene, actually the boy Ichigo dies. makes his appearance actually and man dies. did he get a buff after training that dong guy. Just look at this disrespect right here. You will. Bro, I don't give a fuck about you, bitch. I said we move him. Put my hands on you, nigga. And he put him. He did so all Ichigo that. Ichigo and Aizen have their final showdown, resulting in Ichigo using the final Getsu Gatensho, smacking that bitch Aizen right in the mouth and taking him he down. He did work. And to put the icing on the cake, Urahara uses his Kido to seal and apprehend Aizen. Knowledgeable of the repercussions for using the final Getsu Gatensho, Ichigo slowly loses his Soul Reaper powers. Are you doing the oh real ending? Oh my man? god, for god's sake! Another filler arc? Filler, filler, oh, filler, 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 filler. Well, moving past those goddamn fillers, Ichigo has lost all of his spiritual energy, and so he says his farewells to Rukia. And that is the end of Bleach. Uh, uh, just kidding, bitch. Really it's another season. <sighs> it's another one. Well, apparently there's more. This is the final arc of Bleach. Sorry to say it's shit. So I will skim over this shit like no tomorrow. Well, so like the manga is like continuing now, and it's apparently going to a really good spot. So I hope they fucking reboot this shit. Oh, 
so I really do. No longer having spiritual energy. This guy hits him up like, "Hey, yo, you want your powers back?" And Ichigo goes like, "Yeah, bro." Oh, so hell Ichigo yeah. Yeah. Bring powers. Of course, that's after a series of tests that pushed his physical and spiritual capabilities. Dirty so boots. Gets a mastery of his <laughs> bring powers. This guy turns on Ichigo and steals his powers. Yeah. So Rukia appears behind him and stabs him with a special blade, giving him spiritual energy and his soul reaper powers back. With that being said, Ichigo beats that ass and kills that bitch. Yeah. yeah his name was Kugo Ginjo. For anyone Nobody who cares. cares about that. Nobody cares. I don't know why you would, but yeah. So with that villain out of the way, Ichigo's soul reaper powers returned. We got the conclusion of Bleach. Or maybe not the true conclusion because nah. we still haven't gotten to the Thousand Year Blood War arc. But yep. let's pray. Someday they will release it to the anime. That's what I'm saying, dude. I really fucking hope so. Uh, I hope they really do. I don't know how that works. I don't know how it has to change hands or whatever. But they need to make that shit happen. Um, I, don't, I just don't enjoy reading manga, dude. Uh, I used to I called it manga for years, even. That's how little I give a shit. Skitten hasn't finished that yet, so I hope uh, she actually finishes it. We've made it to the dirty boots scene. If you guys don't know what that is, then you've saved yourself a lot of time and pain, but that's where she's at. And um, it gets good at the very end, but it just feels really cheesy and pointless because like after Aizen dies, the animation just fucking ended. It's like they were under contract and they had to do some shit. But uh, some old gaming dude, so fucking great. His anime minutes, of course, are always on point. <laughs> I actually found him by uh, My Hero Academia uh, tier list. That's actually how I found him. So uh, this was awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.